would you like to donate your shells with these? Donate the shells, perfect. Good luck, my lovely. Soft pop there. Oh, and we've got a runaway already. If I move my hand, oh, it's a, it's a lighter one. I felt it hit my finger. So we've got a lighter runaway there. I think you can see it there. And if I just show you here, lots and lots of pearls in here. Now I'm going to just see if I can open him up without getting any more. Oh, no, we are going to have... There's one in this side of the shell, so I'm just going to pour that out. And then we can see there's no other pearls in there at all. So we do have a few runaways here. And then we can still see lots of pearls in and around the flesh. So I'm just going to move these up slightly and then knock that out because I can see that they were very loose there. So let's have a squidge in here. Oh, well, they came out really, really easily. I'm just having a squidge in there. All right, I don't believe there's any more in there. So I'm just going to have a squidge in here. For, not a squidge, sorry. I'm going to have a count through of these for before we dry them up. So we've got five at the front. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. Perfect. So, Patricia, what I'm going to do is going to dry them up for you. Then I'll pop them in the sand, darker towards the top, lighter towards the bottom. And then that way we can see the colour differences, especially with the dark ones next to each other. You can see more of the colour tones. Now, um, are you happy for me to measure the largest and the smallest? Or if you would like me to measure them all, that's not a problem. But just let me know as we go, because then I'll go, I'll measure them through as I go through the colours for you. Okay. So if we start with the darker pearls, I'll pop them on the top here. If this is too dark, I will make it lighter again, but we'll see how it goes. So your first pearl is a darker gunmetal grey. Is that an imperfection? He does have little inclusion imperfection there. So you can see that lighter, slight indent to him. And he is a two-tonal gunmetal grey as well. So he is slightly mottled with lighter silvery overtones to him. Your next pearl is a dark forest green. So again, we can see those dark green flashes to him. Let me see if I can... There we go. I don't want to make it too bright, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, your next darker pearl is, a again, another dark gunmetal grey. So we've got gunmetal grey, green gunmetal grey. And then we've got a darker silver. Now he does look... Is that a... Uh, yeah, he does have that slightly almost flat tiny area to him but I just found had difficulty finding it so I think it is literally just as the light catches it there but the rest of him is beautifully round so I think it's just one of those um how it's sort of grown and then we've got again another two-tonal chocolate and gunmetal grey so base gunmetal grey but then you can see that gorgeous dark deep chocolate flash to him your next pearl again moving into the darker chocolate tones and then we've got this chocolatey silver. This one looks like he's got purple to him, doesn't he? So he's like a chocolatey purple, but definitely base chocolate. Oh, Patricia, my lovely, I can, I can measure them all. What I'll do is I'll finish going through the colours for you and then I'll measure them. That's absolutely fine. Honestly, it's not a problem. But obviously now I've started, I'll just measure them all at the end for you, my lovely, okay? So your next one is a dark gunmetal grey. Actually, it's a lighter. If you can see, it's like a dark silver because it's not quite a, a, a darker gunmetal grey. So it's a dark silver there. We then move through into a darker mottled chocolate. So he's a base chocolate with that mottled overtone. And then... 
moving into our burgundy reds. So you've got one burgundy red, actually I think this one should have went first. You've got, so that's more of a brick burgundy red, that one. This one then is more of a brighter burgundy red. And then we've got a lighter burgundy red. So you've got the brick red, burgundy red, and then a lighter burgundy red. Moving through to your watermelons. So you've got a slightly lighter watermelon there. And then we've got a bright coral. Another coral. And then a third coral. Moving through into a autumn peach. A two-tonal gold. So you've got slightly lighter and brighter gold area to him there. And then we've got a pastel yellow. Nicole and Suzanne, bless you, thank you for the stars. After the pastel yellow, we're going to go into your cream coloured pearl. Actually, I'm going to say he's more of a bridal white, sorry. You've then got an apple green, especially when the greens and yellows are next to each other. You can see the difference in the two, especially pastel colours. They are very similar, but you can see the difference. So you've got a pastel apple green, a icy blue, a larger TARDIS blue, which does have this slight uh, imperfection on here as well. So he's round, but then he's got, I don't know if you can see, he's got It's just slightly misshapen there, but you can bear, it's not an obvious thing. I think it's just as, again, as the light catches it. You've then got a grape purple and a lilac purple. Okay, what do you think to these? You can see it, Patricia, perfect. Uh, so, Again, if you'd like to take a screenshot here and then I'll go through and measure them for you. And then I will try and put them back in the same places that they are now. So then that way, um, obviously if you'd like to have them on the jewellery, you can let me know. Or if you prefer to let me know in an email which ones you'd like where, that's absolutely fine as well. So if we go through and measure them, so starting with the mottled gunmetal grey, he's not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5, not a 7, not a 7.5, he's an 8. Forest green is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5, he's a 7. And the gunmetal grey is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5, not a 7, he's a 7.5. The dark silver is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, he's a 6.5. And the gunmetal and chocolate is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5, he's a 7. Your chocolate purple is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5, not a 7, he's a 7.5. And the chocolate silver is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5, he's a 7. The dark silver is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5, he's a 7. And the, it is like a dark purple, is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5, not a 7, he's a 7.5. Your brick red is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, he's a 6.5. Burgundy red is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6. Sorry, he is a 6.5. And then the brighter burgundy red is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5, he's a 7. Watermelon is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5, he is a 7. Your coral number 1 is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, he's a 6.5. Coral number 2 is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, he's a 6.5. And coral number 3 is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5, he's a 7. Autumn peach is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5, not a 7, he's a 7.5. Two-tonal gold is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5, uh, not a 7, he is a 7.5. Pastel yellow is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, he's a 6.5. Bridal white is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, he's a 6.5. Pastel apple green is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, he's a 6.5. Icy blue is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5, not a 7, he's a 7.5. Tardis blue is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5, not a 7, not a 7.5, not an 8, sorry, he is an 8. Uh, great purple is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, he's a 6.5, and the lilac purple is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5, not a 7, he is a 7.5. So your largest was an 8, smallest was a 6.5. I'm just popping these back in line, um, 
and then I know you managed to grab the screenshot, so that's perfect. So what do you think? Would you like to decide now uh, which ones you'd like wear or if you'd like to do any colour swaps or would you prefer to include it in an email, Patricia? And if you'd like me to bring the other ones back as well, I'm sure I could squeeze them around 